Hello, Leo, getting ready to do your reading. All right, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's showing up for you guys at this time. Ten of Wands, ooh, the Emperor. Two of Wands, Magician, Page of Swords, Tower, wow. Well, what the hell? Okay, Leo, I don't, okay, just so you know, I don't think this tower is your tower. I think it's this Emperor's Tower. So this could be an Aries that's creating this drama. Someone you consider an emperor in your life. Let's go back through. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands, a new beginning with the Ace of Swords. The emperor, though, is, has the wish fulfilled, Nine of Cups, Messages, Devil, the Lovers, Ten of Coin, Four of Cups, and Two of Cups. Wow. So... Okay, you may be dealing with someone who went through a tower already and that is coming back around that went through a very heavy, you know, ten of wands tower energy. Now, they may be in this now because we have death and two of cups. So it doesn't mean they're going to come back maybe this week, but it means that it looks like they are, uh, you will get communication. Page of swords, lovers. What is the devil? The unknown, wow. What's the moon? Wow, look at that major energy. It's like someone is manifesting like black magic or something weird behind the scenes, or they're trying to. It almost feels like someone is trying to manifest like a specific person back, or they're like doing spells or something. Like, I don't normally go there, but with that energy of the devil, you know, and the moon. You know, hidden things in the dark. Oh, this could be you, though, with the strength card, right? I feel like someone's manifesting you back to them. And they're doing whatever it takes. And they're going through all this, you know, maybe this tower was a year ago. It doesn't have to be now. It's just showing us that maybe they rebuilt their life. From the tower, from the ashes to ten of coin. A lot of money, security, family. I do feel like they're spying on you, though, here. I definitely get spying with this. But this person has gone through a lot and now is going to be in a very good place. Almost a place where like I forget like eating and drinking and money and abundant and um, in the past though they may have not treated you well with the five of swords. So I don't know how you feel about this person. You will get communication. So what is the lover's energy? What is the lover's energy? Whoops, I pulled two. We got eight of swords and the seven of wands. You may have felt trapped by this person, or I kind of feel like they were always contacting you with the eight of swords. Like you couldn't get them to stop with the seven of wands. You couldn't get them to go away. Like, go away and please stop talking to me. I feel like maybe they were coming in and out of your life, possibly at one time. They could be a fire sign. They might have been blocking you, but because of the eight of swords, I kind of get this feeling like, they're going to try to talk to you or they already did this and you just really did not want to participate in the conversation. So what is the Ace of Swords? Walking away. Justice. Hierophant. Oh, now I have seen this energy come up when somebody is in a really bad relationship and the tower can be a divorce. So this may be someone who is divorcing or is divorced and is wanting to come back into your life, maybe they wanted to come back in as a player when you when they were married or you're married and you're like, I don't really want to get involved right now. Maybe you're going through a divorce and they're, they're watching you. Because um, this is leaving a relationship, you know, a divorce, right? So, and doing it the right way. Meaning, meaning going through the whole process of a divorce, it's finalized, it's done, so they can have a new beginning. So I really feel like this person went through something, so maybe that was a, a really bad divorce. And now they're celebrating Nine of Cups because it's over. They want to rebuild with you. What is this Four of Cups, though? Seven of Coin, looking Four of Cups, okay. Okay. They're going to work on it, though, but they may not know how. Let me see. Hang on. The world. Okay. What I'm seeing here is I'm not sure if they ended things very badly with you, the Five of Swords, or you did with them. Maybe they're very abrupt with you because now we're getting an offer here and they're looking at the past with the Seven of Coins. I almost feel like the, I don't know if they had you in a third party, but 
like they look back and see that when the two of you were together you guys had fun but what's coming in is heartbreak because I think they know that they must have done this to you the five of swords But they're willing, they're, this is telling me they're willing to work on it. I was looking at the other cards, but it told, tells me that they probably don't know how to fix it, how to start new with you, but they're going to try, okay? All right, doesn't mean you're going to necessarily take them back. It's just this is what's on their mind. They may also be worried about coming back. Well, not worried. That's not the right word. They're going to come back in no matter what. They just feel like you're probably going to push them away. You, you're going to be very defensive. You don't want to see them. But I really feel like with all this energy that they have been building up with the devil and the moon energy in the background, like, like saying your name, chanting your name over and over and just, okay, what is the two of cups? Four of coin holding on, ten of cups, six of coin, willing to give, two of coin, okay, so there's that energy again. Two of coin, ten of wands, I'm sorry, two of coins, the world and six of wands is coming in after that. So again, like hanging on to the hope of being together and being happy and wanting to give, give back. The only thing I'm thinking about in this reading that I kind of do see, well, we have the two of cups and we do have the lovers. Okay, so that is good. This person does want to make it up to you. I was feeling that maybe it was based more on money and giving back to you and buying you something, etc., like that. But now with the other cards here, I feel like this person is a soulmate, definitely, but I feel like they really screwed up in the past. And I, this could be something or someone that you would not take back anyways because of how they treated you and what they did. I do feel like they're sorry and they're willing to fix it. So I really feel like this person must have come to some realization. I mean, they must have gone through some shit with the tower here and just, um, and maybe they deserve it. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what they did in the past. Let me see the nine of cups. Yeah, they're sad about what they did. Yeah, see? So it's like they, they're happy, they're free with the, nine, with the Nine of Cups, but now they realize they have to now take a step forward to you and now start fixing that. And they're not sure if you're going to even allow them, you know, to come near them, near you. They may, they're going to invite you to go out like to dinner, Nine of Cups. This is over here is just kind of weird though. To have that all come out but um let me put a couple cards here so basically you have someone coming in and it may I mean, this could have been as long as 10 20 years ago is what i'm seeing because of the timeline i'm kind of seeing this could have been someone from long ago wanting to make something up to you maybe they had a drinking problem also there are a lot of cups but that may have been what they walked away from they have they've gotten help all right a little bit more for the three cards up there universe that i don't have any idea what they're saying Almost seems like a little bit like an obsession. Four swords, hermit, a new beginning. So this they manifested. It could be a Capricorn, a Gemini, or a Leo. But um, yeah, they, I feel like they were in a really, really dark place though at one time with Devil and Moon. I mean, that's like your shadow side, and maybe you were there to help them, but you just could not do anything with the strength. You could not pull them out of it anymore. Um. Because this now tells me that they took time to heal, took time to rest. I mean, this could have been years. And they are ready to come back in with a new attitude, a new outlook. So pretty amazing, though, for someone to go through a transformation like this. Unfortunately, I think you had to bear a lot of the burden and a lot of the pain. Let's see what the guides say for this reading. Messages. Okay, oh, why is this one coming up? You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by the angels. Okay. Usually when this happens, it's for someone that needs to know. Maybe, maybe you just lost a pet and you're watching this. I'm sorry. Uh, that happened one other time. So you may be a vet veterinarian for some of you or this person might be. Let me do one more. That's an odd card to come up, but. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Okay. So, okay. These cards make sense, but also someone may be adopting a pet or you may find a pet to adopt. Um, it's kitten season here in the U S I know this is a little bit off topic. Sorry, but, um, that's how I found my cat 17 years ago. She was abandoned in the bushes. So this also means a happy change. This is usually when somebody does come through a very dark time and has changed. They realize they were wrong. They hurt people. 
So that is what this card probably is talking about this person. Also, an addition could be obviously a child, but I don't really think that's what's going on here. I think this person has really changed their outlook. Um, to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So, all right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week and take care.